Hello and welcome back to another vlog. I feel like it's been such a long time since I've actually grabbed the camera and vlogged. Even though it kind of hasn't, but since I was vlogging every single day in December, it honestly feels like a long time. So today I wanted to film a regular day in my life. I have a bunch of things to tackle and clean and organize as per usual. I feel like my apartment is always a hot mess every single time I vlog and I swear it's not always messy but if we're being honest that's what actually makes a vlog fun interesting to watch so let's get to it I have to do laundry today I have to clean my brushes my closet is a hot mess it's been a hot mess for like a long time because the bins that I had to organize certain things like my bathing suits and stuff like that are all thrown on the floor because I needed those bins to organize the Christmas tree and like put the Christmas tree away and then we ended up storing the Christmas tree at Eric's parents house so now we have the bins and basically I just have to reorganize everything again on the home goods bins all right so I have some exciting news for you guys I feel like I haven't updated you on the apartment and we've actually gotten so many things we're this close to finishing the apartment I can't believe I've like furnished this apartment so quickly even though it doesn't feel like it's been quickly but compared to my previous apartment I feel like this has been a much easier decision making just harder and stressful getting the things because of COVID on my last vlog I shared that I got the box for the coffee table and I hadn't put it out yet and it's finally out and I am ready to show you guys even though the rug is not placed or anything also got my dream tree which i'm so over the moon about i've been dreaming for this tree ever since i started my plant collection so let's show you guys like i mentioned the floor is very dusty i need to vacuum and mop and all that but here is the coffee table i feel like you can't really enjoy it because of the reflection but this is what it looks like it is absolutely perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for. The reason why it took us so long to settle on a coffee table is because this is exactly the style that I was looking for and it was so hard to find. Everything was like over a thousand dollars and I found this one which claim to be available or like for you to receive it in two weeks and then it ended up being three months. But I am glad that it's finally here. It's absolutely perfect. That's what it looks like from this angle. And then this is our new tree slash plant. I really wanted a plant to go in this corner. However, it's been a little, it's been a little annoying to have in this corner due to the fact that we have our vent right here, like AC and heating unit. So I fear that it's going to ruin the plant, even though this specific plant likes humidity. So maybe like the heat isn't so bad, even though I don't keep it super hot in this apartment regardless. But that's why it's out of the way. It should be more back. If you guys are wondering, this is the fiddle leaf fig plant, which is honestly, it's been my dream to have a size like this one. And it's actually around my size. I don't know if you could tell from the reflection over there, but it's 5'9 without the pot. And then with the pot, it made it like 6'1, I think. I shared exactly where I got it on my Instagram if you guys want to go and check out the location. But it's in Scarsdale. If you guys are from the Westchester area, I love that plant shop. I'm definitely going back to get more. Um, and it was a great price. It was $100 without the pot. With the pot, it was $160. I think that was $60. But yeah, that's what it looks like. She has like this branch that comes out this way which i love and um the lady actually gave us some of this stuff like the bark and then this little situation to decorate it and i'm obsessed with it it's so beautiful but yeah overall i feel like the living room is definitely coming along all we need now is the frames here and we actually have the rug which I'm hoping that it's the right size. I think it is. Third time's the charm. You guys already know I ordered one from Walmart and then I got one from Home Goods, and they both weren't the size. So hopefully this time around it is. We did measure the floor um, and this one is a white or I think like an off-white color, but yep. This is some laundry I need to fold and then I'm going to also <laughs> organize this room as per usual. I feel like this room is always messy, for sure.
All right, so we just laid down the rug. This is what it's looking like. This part needs to flatten out a little bit, but I do love the color and the size. However, I'm not a huge fan of the material because it's kind of like a teddy bear material, which I feel like it's going to make it hard to clean, which means the apartment is officially no shoes allowed because I, I cannot. Also, just because my LCD self, but this is going to bother me. I don't know if you guys could tell, but the fact that if you do this, do you see what I mean? I don't know. I'm weird, but whatever. But yeah, I'm really happy with it, aside from the material. I'll link it down below for you guys. I got it from Overstock, and hopefully it doesn't give me any issues cleaning it, but I will be keeping you guys updated. Now, the last thing in the living room is going to be getting some artwork, which I've been hunting down some artwork that I found at Home Goods for like the past two months now and they haven't brought it back and i feel like it's long gone so i'm either going to diy it myself or just try to find a replacement now i have something to tell you guys which is going to be really weird and probably annoying on my end so i am not a huge fan of this color i'm not ever since i moved i was like oh, i don't really like this color because it just doesn't go with the vibe of the apartment so I've been wanting to paint this wall, like this accent little corner, as well as this, um, the bottom part of the counter top. First of all, I have mentioned how much I hate the flat finish of the entire apartment. So this is flat finish. The entire apartment is like a flat finish, except for this wall, which I painted pure white and on a semi-gloss finish because in the kitchen in particular, whenever you're cleaning, you can't clean the wall because it's going to stain it and make it way worse. Exhibit A, I have tried to clean this and then it just like spreads and stains it. So we have this one, this, this. In the bottom, there's like a scratch thing that peels. Long story short, it's like stained all over. Like over there has jeans stain. That's another thing that's really annoying me right now. <laughs> so with that being said, I decided on a paint and I'm not too sure about the paint. Eric and I went back and forth with the paint. I want it kind of like a forest green or a navy blue. However, the building, like the accent color in the building is blue, navy blue, and I don't want it to be the same here. So we couldn't decide on a color except for <laughs> this brown shade now i'm hoping that it's not going to be that dark um because now i'm contemplating it <laughs> i feel like it's going to be so dark and throw everything way off but let's pray let us pray i'm not going to be painting it today but i will be painting it maybe like in another vlog and show you guys how it comes out i feel like the brown will work because it goes with the colors of the apartment and this is also brown it's not going to be that dark i hope but um yeah i don't know i hope it works out because i'm a little nervous now if you guys are wondering this is the color that we got which is rustic tobacco in a semi-gloss from bear another thing that i recently got for the kitchen and to organize is these fridge storage bins so i'm hoping to organize a fridge i don't know if i'm going to do it today but that's on the list of my to-do list. We did install these shelves. I still need to get more pots that would like match. Now, if you're wondering what's on top of these chairs, like I mentioned, I had some issues with blue jeans on the counter top bottom thing. So I wanted to get some covers for these chairs because not this one, this one, Eric completely stained you could barely see it on video but it's definitely stained compared to this one so i don't think this will ever come out from this material so in the meantime we're just going to put covers and then whenever i want to display them i'll remove the covers
All right, so I finished picking up in the kitchen. I put the fridge organizers in that corner until I actually clean the fridge. But I wanted to share my current favorite sandwich that I've shared on my IG stories, but in case you guys haven't seen it. This is my no meat sandwich that my manager put me on and I am currently obsessed. And the second that I find something I like to eat, I stick to it, you guys. I stick to it. So, as you all know, this is my favorite bread. It's the sourdough bread from Whole Foods. I know other places carry sourdough bread, but nothing like this one, I swear. Some tomatoes, avocado, lettuce. On the side, I'm going to have some mango juice. And then to season it, I like to add mayo, red pepper flakes, oregano, olive oil, and salt. By the way, make sure to toast the bread, of course. Listen, sometimes you have a good avocado and sometimes you don't. So we're just gonna make it work. All right, so this is what it looks like. I swear it tastes better than what it looks. All right, so I just finished eating and cleaning up the kitchen. I'm now going to move on to the office, but this is my favorite time of the day because the sun just hits so nicely and it's just so relaxing to see. I normally like to just sit down around this time. Honestly, the more I walk on the rug, the more I like it. I just feel like it feels like an apartment now, you know? Now I'm going to just quickly pick up right here because yeah, as per usual, just, just the hot mess. Right, and she's back to being clean for who knows <laughs> how long, hopefully long enough. All right, so my next task of the day is my closet and I am honestly so embarrassed <laughs> to even show you guys, but I feel like it's going to push me to actually clean it. And you know what? At the end of the day, I'm sure I'm not the only one. So these are not dirty clothes they're all they're all clean they're on top of like a box or something so don't assume that it's just like a massive pile but yeah this is the current situation it looks nice from here up but you know by the way so embarrassing to like show you guys this and then this but i ended up getting a new purse for my birthday which i'm so happy about i'm going to be doing an unboxing it's probably going to be up before this vlog goes up it's still taped i have not opened it yet but i have this thing with luxury items that i get so anxious about it and so doubtful and wanting to return it because it's like such a expensive purchase out of me i don't really spend money like that so it just gives me so much anxiety that i just leave it in the box because I don't know, it just makes me feel better. But I need to put that aside and just be proud of this moment. So yeah, I'm going to open it maybe tomorrow or something. Anyways, back to this mess. I know, so I'm just going to situate the situation right now.
all right so this is what the closet is currently looking like it's not perfect uh, like I mentioned, these little bins right here, I was using it to organize my Christmas organization. I currently just have a few summer stuff in there, like my bathing suits, cover-ups, and then some winter stuff as well as some bags. Because I am in the hunt for another IKEA mom dresser, but those are so hard to get right now, so I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. And then these two bins I got at IKEA to organize in my organization closet, but that's you know a task for another day i have some extra hangers there and then these two bins filled with other stuff that i need to figure out a better way to organize like those duffel bags and stuff but yeah i mean this is looking a lot better than the before so So I totally forgot to continue the vlog yesterday, but I did finish cleaning the apartment somewhat. I still need to clean my bathroom and the brushes, but I just got back from picking up some packages downstairs and I wanted to share with you guys the, the stuff that I got from Express because I recently got some like dressy pants from Express. I don't think I got the entire order, but I'll show you guys what I have right now if you guys saw my last fashion haul i was mentioning how i want to upgrade my closet and i wanted to get more pants like dressy pants this is the first pair which is just a regular black one i got it in a zero long because it's normally my size at express but you guys have noticed that quarantine weight has been real so i feel like i'm probably a two long now like a number two l so I got two of those right here to test out the size and I feel like this is definitely going to be my size now And then I wanted to get my favorite pair of black jeans from Express because I have worn out the other one I love it. However, like the hardware is a little distressed now. It's black hardware, which I love I feel like it's such a nice touch, but this is my favorite pair of black jeans from Express, which I'll link down below for you guys. If you see on my Instagram, it's literally the only pair I wear. I also wanted to get some white shorts. Don't know why, because it's snowing out, but I don't know, I saw this on the site and I figured I'll start getting some shorts for the summer. This one I got in a size zero, which I should have gotten in a size two, but it is stretchy material. But I'm going to try out the dressy pants for you guys to show you how they fit and link everything in the description. Alright, so this is the black pair of pants. I should have gotten a two for sure because they fit like a skinny jean. They fit perfect, but you know, I don't know. I'll definitely keep it though. I love the material though and they fit nice, so I'm going to keep it. But for pants or like dressy pants, I'm going to get a size two from now on. See, this is my problem. I feel like I'm in between sizes right now because I'm not a two, but I'm not a zero to steam these pants, but I do like how they fit in the bottom, like a little bit more on the loose side. Um, but up here, I'll probably either try to stinge it a little bit more, but yeah, that's what these look like. And then I got it in a navy as well. Here are the navy pants. I feel like I like these a lot more, especially with the right top, but yeah, that's what these look like. There's people painting in the other building. Alright, so last pair are my favorite jeans, like I mentioned. I own these already in a zero long and they fit perfect, but do you see what I mean? These don't close anymore! Listen, I swear... I swear to god the other ones are a zero long they're in the washer right now but I'm going to get them out and show you guys the size because I feel like they're just not the same I cannot for the life of me like bend my knee <laughs> I can't like I, I can't sit down oh this is so annoying and for some reason these don't feel like a regular jean material that was a win and an epic fail at the same time i'm going to wait until the jeans that are washing right now finish washing so i can show you guys because i have not been able to find the exact pair of jeans and then i write the SKU number and that's the one like the one that i received today is the one that i keep receiving because this is the second time that i tried to get a second pair of my favorite black jeans so yeah you know at first i thought it was like me and i thought i was gaining weight which obviously i feel like i definitely have gained a little bit of weight from my normal size but i like where i'm at right now and the pair that i have is a zero long so either they're making them too small <laughs> compared to the original zero long or something's something's off 
I don't know. Alright, so I'm going to try to make something to eat, like a capresi salad or something because I'm hungry. And then I'll wash my brushes. All right, so I just finished eating. I am now going to wash my brushes and sponges. And I wanted to show you guys how I do it exactly, which I've shared it before, but let's do it again. All right, so to clean, I like to use Dr. Broner soap. I've used this for a couple of years now, so I just basically get a bowl, fill it with water, a little bit of this, and just wash away with a little plastic thing. I'll show you guys. Get the soap and put. Now to wash the brushes, I have this Sigma little mat and I also have this Equal Tools one which I got at Marshalls, I believe, or TJ Maxx. For the most part, I use this one just because you could put it in your hand like this. And then what I do is I slightly wet it, not all the way here, but just like, like that, you know? And then like this but I'll show you guys the time lapse now. And we are done. Honestly, no better feeling. No better feeling than this one. Guess what came out of the washer. All right, so these are still wet, but look, I wasn't lying. These are a zero long and they fit perfect. I love these. I just wanted to have a second pair because I dirty it very often, but. I don't know. I also feel like these and the ones that I just got are different material, so maybe that's why. All right, so I'm going to end today's vlog here. I think it's only fair for me to end the vlog next to the coffee table. I will be linking it down below for you guys, so make sure to check that out. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below which other videos you want to see more from me this year. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye.